Hi, I'm Tukiji Sui. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate with Amy Angert's lab here at the Biodiversity Research Center. So in my research, I'm currently looking at how climate change affects species' geographical distributions. Uh, for a long time, ecologists and evolutionary biologists have been trying to understand what determines species' distributions and try and understand the patterns of biodiversity that we see today. And more recently, there's also been an urgent need to understand how distributions are changing the climate change. Uh, there's been a general tendency for species to move their distributions in order to track climate change, but at this point we don't know which species are able to move and thus are able to keep up with climate change. And so to better predict how different species move their distributions, I use a combination of ecological and evolutionary theory, shorthand referred to as eco-evolutionary dynamics. And species are usually distributed across a very large space, and so in order to make it tractable to study them, uh, I'm recreating species ranges in the greenhouse, and by simulating climate change in the greenhouse, I'm able to test how species respond and move across space. So as an evolutionary ecologist, I've been so fortunate to be able to do field work all across the world, from the deserts of California to beautiful woodlands forests in Scotland. Uh, but my favorite research memory is when I spent a month in a tropical rainforest in Uganda to survey the growth of woody vines. And these woody vines also turn out to be really good swing poles for chimpanzees, especially baby chimpanzees. And so whilst we were out in the rainforest trying to survey uh, we would encounter troops of wild chimpanzees along the way. And being there in the middle of the forest, just with my friends who were walking alongside me, uh, looking at these chimps playing around, is moments that you'll never forget in your life. I'm generally fascinated with all aspects of the natural world, but at the moment I've been most interested in duckweed, which I'm using as a model organism for my experiments. Uh, duckweed is a small freshwater plant that you can find in ponds all across the world and they are amongst the world's smallest known flowering plants and grow extremely fast which makes them great for studying evolution in real time. And within one pond you can typically find many species of duckweed growing together in a community which also makes them valuable for studying species interactions and how species are able to coexist together in a community. Other than in my field of research, uh, duckweed is being looked into for many other uses, including research by NASA, into their potential use as both space food for astronauts and as a biological filter to clean water. So look out for them next when you buy a pond and see how many species of duckweed you can identify.